What is up guys? It is me, the true J1 Digger again, and we are here today for another Monster Jam Showdown video. As we all know guys, I've, I've been gone for two weeks, all for good many reasons. One, you know, I had school and all that. Two, and as well, we had hurricanes coming here in Florida. It wasn't great, you know, but I'm okay, you know. And also trips getting canceled. It was so great, you know, that's, man, that's basically life, you know in in florida you know everything just cancels everything all because of hurricanes but you know i'm okay uh, everyone in my family's okay you know so um yeah but again um prayers to the people up up north in florida you know i'm from the south you know everyone up north in florida you know uh, our prayers to them you know they had to get hit by so many hurricanes and all that so um yeah hopefully and uh, hopefully none does it hit my area hopefully you know but um yeah but um again um yeah praise to them so yeah in today's video guys we are gonna be looking at new trucks that came out today in the game and the trucks that we're gonna be taking looking at is if we're gonna show you right now the first to look at is the first um dlc which it was released on september 26 which was the soldiers and pirates and that one consists with soldier fortune black ops black pearl and captain's curse and then on the on um, October the 10th was just one truck basically, and that was JCB Diggertron, and he had a variant as well. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna look at the trucks, see how they are, look like if they look accurate to real life, and then we're gonna try to play with them a little bit. You know, we're gonna try to play with them a little bit. So um, yeah, not all of them, but we're gonna try to play just just some of them. So um, yeah, that we're gonna be doing for today's video. So. If we look right now into the um, area where the trucks are, you do see right now the four trucks um, and they came out in these past few weeks. So again, Source of Fortune, Black Pearl, Captain Scurs, and JB, JCB Degatron. We'll look, we'll look at if they're accurate to the real life and all that, you know. So um, yeah. So uh, without further ado, uh, the first truck that we will be taking on and looking at is Soldier Fortune Black Ops. And once we look at his, the regular, we also look at the variants they gave him. So, yeah. So, without further ado, let's see what Soldier Fortune Black Ops is. And here's the first one that we'll be looking at, guys, again. Soldier Fortune Black Ops. Um, basically, the second truck of Soldier Fortune. As we all know, um, as we all know, Soldier Fortune is no longer with us anymore. They have retired that truck as well with Black Ops. But Black Ops retired first before that one. So, um, yeah. Um, the Social Fortune Black Ops, we haven't seen this truck, I think, since for almost, I think, two, three years now, because ever since Tony Oaks left the truck to drive Thunder Wars, you know, it, it's just, it has never came back, you know, and all that, so, um, yeah. One day I could tell you guys, if we do compare this one to the, to the real life, I will show you a it picture right now, uh, what the Social Fortune look like in real life, I'll probably put it in an angle right now to see. Um, if it looks very accurate, and to be honest, it kind of looks accurate to the real life truck, I got to admit. It, it looks very, very accurate to the real life truck, they did a great job on it, I thought maybe there would be some issues and all that, but no. Uh, they, they, they did a great job on Soldier Forge Black Ops and all that, so yeah. There's nothing to say about Soldier Forge Black Ops, because um, since Soldier Forge Black Ops has never changed ever since it made its debut, as far as I know. Uh, I see, the last time I ever saw Soldier Fortune, Black Ops was in the World's Finals in Orlando. That was the very last time I ever saw Soldier Fortune Black Ops was in the World's Finals in Orlando in 2019 or 21. No, I think it was 21, I think, was the last time I saw Soldier Fortune Black Ops. I think so. I don't remember. I don't have a good, I don't have a good memory. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was the very last time I ever saw Soldier Fortune Black Ops. Um, so, um, yeah, but again, there's no changes into the truck and all that. You know, I think they did a great job on Soldier Forge of Black Ops, you know. Now that we got this one done, we're going to look at the next uh, two variants for Soldier Forge of Black Ops. And the one, next one we'll be checking on is Soldier Forge of Black Ops Fire. So let's do it. So here it is, guys. Soldier Forge of Black Ops Fire, uh, as we all know. Um, first impression, it doesn't look that bad. It looks great. It looks awesome. The flames and all that makes the truck look great as well and all that so uh yeah now uh soldier force black as never became real life as far as i know but there is a 1.64 scale if i'm correct of soldier fortune black ops i think i don't know if i if there is one in my collection of trucks i have in my room i will take a picture and show you guys 
but as of right I not one hundred percent sure as of right now. Um, because I I don't want to look in the shelves right now right, right now and try to find it for the next five minutes. So um yeah. <laughs> Again, it looks awesome. You know, I just wish that one thing I wish they could have done is maybe they could have done something on the top of the roof. But for some reason, that's the only part that they never put fire on top. They just basically left it blank right there. Basically, I wish they could have done something right there on top. That they could have put at least some fire, a little bit of fire up there at least, you know, but they didn't. So, um, yeah, but I think that's the one criteria that they didn't do, but I think everything else is okay. The tires look great on Soldier Fortune Black Ops. So, um, yeah, but again, they did a great job on Soldier Fortune Black Ops. Like, there's nothing to complain about and all that. I think they did a great job on Soldier Fortune Black Ops. They really, really did. So, um, yeah. Now that we look at Soul of Fortune Black Ops, we got one more variant for Soul of Fortune Black Ops, and that is the Chrome version. So let's go and see that one. And here's the last variant for Soul of Fortune Black Ops, and which is the Soul of Fortune Black Ops Chrome, made by the team itself, Milestone. They were the ones who created this truck, and I gotta admit, they knocked it out of the park with this one. They really, really did knock it out of the park. The chromes they do for these trucks, they do a phenomenal job with for it. They do a great job with the body. As you can see, it, it glinces and shines and swells the, the rims as well. They did a phenomenal job with Soldier Forge of Black Ops. You know, they did a great job with the, with this body. They did a great job as well for the other ones as well, like Gravedigger, uh, Earth Shaker, Ator Loco, and there's like another, another one as well. They did a great job for all the chromes, you know. So, um... Yeah, you know, they did they did a great job. Again, they did a great job, a phenomenal job. Again, for Social Fortune Black Ops, you know. They missed out on trying to do something on top of the truck, based on the roof. But, you know, I think for this one, I'm okay with it, you know. Because the last one, they should have done they should have done something for the fire one. But this one, I don't think there's an issue about it. So, um, yeah. But, again, there's nothing to complain about this truck. You know, the Chrome is phenomenal, again. So, um, yeah, again, great job for Milestone. Great job to them doing great job on these uh, bodies and all that. So, um, yeah. Now that we looked at um, the three truck, well, the, the truck and the two variants for Soldier Forge Black Ops, it's time to go for the next truck, which is Black Pearl, guys. So, without further ado, let's do it. So, the first Black Pearl that we'll be looking at is the world's finals black pearl from last year from nashville tennessee guys this is the black pearl from last year in nashville tennessee i do have a um image i think i could look at it i could compare this image to the real to what it would look like in real life but i also i have a recorded actually of black pearl in this crash and qualifying so uh, if i i'll see if i could have it if i do have it i'm going to show you right now the clip very quick Oh um, man, I don't know if I show you the clip or not, but I wish you. What I wish, I wish, I wish I did. If I, if I did, uh, you guys had a great time seeing that one. If I didn't, then I'm I'm sorry. But <laughs> but um again, uh but anyways, guys, after showing you that all that, we're gonna see if this truck looks accurate to real life, real life. So um from first impression, it does look like the real 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 life Black Pro in the World's Finals. I do have kind of a good memory of the Black Pearl from World's Finals. Well, unfortunately, until you crashed the truck, but uh, anyways, move more, forget that, forget that. <laughs> but uh, again, it looks great. They did a great job on Black Pearl. They did great on the body scanning and all that. You know, I think it looks very accurate to real life. As we all know, this is not the chassis for Black Pearl. This is actually uh, Jamie Garner's chassis, actually. As we remember, uh, Black Pearl's original chassis was not doing well, and then they decided to change it to Jamie Garner's chassis, and Cole Verdard did a phenomenal job at the World's Finals last year, you know. Uh, I, I don't know how well he did racing, but I do know he did very well in freestyle, and, uh, yeah. But, um, again, I think it looks very, very accurate to real-life truck, you know, everything. I don't see any changes to what it looked like real life. Well, except this one. <laughs> so, if you guys are wondering, that is, um, that's how I like do it on a mermaid. I remember, I don't remember, but I think he did this to Adam as well, Colvernard. I don't remember, but I think he did one to Adam too, if I'm correct. But um, I don't have a good, I don't have a good memory of this ever was shown in, in Monster and World's Finals. I don't know. Maybe it did. Maybe once, and then they took it off. Maybe I don't know because the World's Finals, he he, he did not have this at the World's Finals, <laughs> as far as I know. But uh, it is kind of funny for Colvernard to. 
uh, do a little prank on some of his friends, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, he did it to Adam, and now he did it to Talak, dude. How convenient, guys. <laughs> but it looks great either way. It looks great and funny. So, um, yeah, congrats to them. They did a phenomenal job on Black Pearl, you know, Milestone with the scanning again, all that. It looks very, very accurate to the real-life truck. So, uh, yeah, I have no complaints. I have no complaints. So, um, yeah, great job, Milestone. Now that we look at this Black Pro, we're going to look at the next one, which the Black Pro that we'll be looking at is the one that we sh that was shown in stadiums, basically. So, without further ado, let's see that truck. Now we're on to the next Black Pro. Now, this Black Pro is the stadium Black Pro. This is not the world's finest Black Pro. The only difference between that one and to the one that we saw is that if you look into the hood, the hood is very, very different the world's finest truck as the world's finest truck when you saw guys had a different hood compared to this one this is the one that you saw in stadiums not in the world's finals remember that guys there's a little bit more paint paint schemes and all that to the truck to what it was in real and not in real life but to what it was in the uh, world's finals as well as the back as you see now it has the logo black pro logo instead of Talik dudes um face with the mermaid you know so, um, yeah, again, once again, they did a great job on this Black Pro as well, too. I don't think they did, some, they did do a terrible job on it. It looks very, very accurate to the real life truck. I don't have a good memory what the Stadium Black Pro looked like, especially um, the one from last year. And I think, I don't know when Black Pro competed in Miami. If he did compete in Miami last year, I think. I don't know. He competed a few times in Miami, but I... I uh, don't have a good memory of Black Pearl, <laughs> this body song, but I do know that this is what the stadium looked like um, because he never, this was never shown in the world's finals like this. So, um, yeah, so the hood, everything looks great. You know, we got the, we got the pirate um, holding. Now, I'm assuming that is, I don't know what he's holding, actually. I think, I, I don't know what he's holding. But if you look at top right here, we do see the skull and it has the red eye of Black Pro with the star on it in the background, which I think if I have a good memory, I think it's from, um, yeah, what is it? What company is it? Actually, I don't remember, but um, no changes or anything on that. The chassis is the same as the other Black Pro, but as you all know, that's the, that they didn't change. They didn't want to change the chassis design, all that. So, um, yeah. So again, Black Pearl uh, Stadium, Black Pearl. They did a great job at Stadium, Stadium Black Pro. Great job to them. Kudos to them. So, um, yeah. Now that we looked at this Black Pearl, we got one more Black Pearl variant, and that is the Milestone Black Pearl. So, without further ado, guys, let's go to it. Okay, one quick note, guys. This is not apparently Milestone's creation. This is basically a Milestone creation because it, had, it doesn't have the Milestone logo on it. So, um, yeah. Just a quick note for that. What we have here, guys, is the last variant for the Black Pearl, and this is the Gears and Gears and Galaxies Black Pearl, and this is the one is the Gears Black Pearl, basically. So this is basically from the series that we know from Spin Master, the Gears and Galaxies, you know, and pretty sure everyone will remember that very well, what it was if you had the toys and all that. So uh, and it only we only saw one truck ever became real life, which is the Galaxy Dalmatian. That was the only one we ever saw. Became real life basically in Monster Jam. So, um, yeah, but, um, forget, for, I'm moving on from that, we're gonna look at the Black Pearl very quickly and see how it looks and all that, so, yeah. First impression, it looks great, it looks great, they did, they did a great job on this, um, Black Pearl and all that, the white and all that, it looks, it makes the truck stand out, you know, so, um, yeah, and even look very, apologies for that, I just clicked the wrong button, or clicked the wrong button right there by accident, so, um, yeah, but, if you look very closely to the truck, we do have the background, the Black Pearl ship, basically, in white. Doesn't look that bad. Uh, there are You can't see everything else in, in the Black Pearl thing, you know, in the background and all that. You do see the skulls, as you can see on the sides, you know. The front hood, the front hood, that looks great. This is the, and from the looks of it, this looks like the stadium Black Pearl. This is not the world's finest Black Pearl, which, you know, kind of makes sense for him to do it, you know. So, um, yeah. You know, you got, you got the United States fly, you got the logo, Moss Jam Gears right there. Uh, on top, just the same thing as the last one, you know, just change the body and all of that. So, um, yeah, and you can see the body, they did change the body. They changed, now it's white compared to black. 
you know so um and also the wheels are white and the, and the rims and inside the rims are gold which looks great anyways nothing to change for black pro they did a great job on this Ge galaxy gears black pearl great job to milestones you know sadly we'll never see this truck become real life but maybe one day we might see this truck become a toy maybe who knows maybe we will one day maybe if spin master wants to do it so um only time will tell if that ever happens so um yeah now that we look at um black pearl right and also the variants it's time to look at the third and final truck um of the um pirates and soldiers uh, dlc pack which is captain's curse so without further ado guys let's go to it so here we are guys so again the final truck of the first dlc that came out the soldiers and pirates i think that's what it's called and we got the black captain's curse guys so we're gonna look at the pirate's curse black uh, when I first saw uh, Pirates Cur Captain's Curse uh, in the in the first image that you get when you buy the DLC, I it looked like I thought it was their car. They decided to put it on the Whiplash body, which I was kind of I was like first when I saw it, I was like a little bit upset about it. I was very upset. I was like, oh, this is not gonna be great and everything. But when I when I got the DLC and when I looked closely to the truck and and what it looks like and all that. Uh, from the sides, the back, and all that, and more I looked at it, the more it kind of looks like the real life truck. I will show you an image what the Captain's Curse Black look like in real life. You know, I never got a chance to see Captain's Curse in real life for me personally. I never got a chance to ever, ever in my life to see Captain's Curse. It was very sad, so fortunately, I never got to see it. You know, but sometimes there are trucks that you want to see, and fortunately, they just never come to the shows where you are from basically you know as for me i'm from the south in my florida uh when i look again this caps curse does it look like whiplash you know i i could what i could try to do is that i could try to take some images from the cap this one too and also um whiplash i could probably do some side side by side comparison uh probably right now you guys are seeing maybe if you guys are not seeing it maybe because i never got a chance to do it but if you guys are seeing it you guys could see um some comparisons to what it looks like to whiplash and captain's and to this captain's curse you know and it looks very not they don't they don't look similar they look very very different you know you know the back the back is the one i checked first when i got this truck and it looked very different to the whiplash one you know it looked very different as well as vendetta as well but vendetta had a different back compared to um cap's curse vendetta's one is a bit wide a bit longer and this one's a this one is a bit uh shorter and as well as for the whiplash the whiplash was a bit I think longer I think to Captain's Curse you know if I'm not mistaken so um yeah but uh if you look at the sides you know uh, the sides could probably tell you like hey look at it looks kind of looks like whiplash but uh no it really isn't you know I think they what they did milestone is which I think they did a great job and they they, they did what they needed to do is that they try to make this one look like the real life truck and try not to put it into a body that already existed you know which I think to me that was a great job by them you know uh kudos to milestone you know they do not want a truck to be in a in a body that w had already existed like what steel titans did steel titans they had to do that which was not great but again cap skirts they did a great job on it you know the hood um i wish the hood was a little bit smaller if i'm not mistaken the hood for captain's curse was not this wide as far as i know from looking at a lot of youtube videos images i don't think the hood is this wide. i could probably do some side by side comparison to the hood to what the captain's curse was in real life to the game i'm and if i'm correct the hood in the game was is a little bit too wide i wish they could have shrunk it down just a little bit for it to look accurate but you know you, there's times you cannot you know so um yeah uh, but everything else on captain's curse looks great you know the chassis accurate to the real life truck all red and all that the rims uh if I, I don't remember if it had red rims in real life. i think it did if i'm not mistaken you know so um yeah and then you got the flag you got the flag for captain's curse which is also great to see as well thank you milestone you know for maybe listening to us what we want for our trucks and all that you know so um yeah thank you again again um uh, milestone so um yeah but now that we looked at the black captain's curse now it's time to look at 
the red version of Captain's Curse, or as we all know, the variant for Captain's Curse. So yeah, so without further ado, guys, let's do it. And here it is, guys, the red Captain's Curse, guys. We have not seen this red body of Captain's Curse since Path of Destruction on a uh, Wii, uh, Xbox 360, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, you know. That was in 2000, what, 2010, around, around there's when uh, we ever saw Red Captain's Curse, you know. So it's been a very long, long, long time since we've seen it. I'm very happy Milestone and Monster Jam brought this truck back from the dead, you know. So I'm very happy for them. Thank you again, Milestone and Monster Jam, to bring this truck back. First impression, they did a great job. They, they did a phenomenal job on Captain's Curse. You know, it looks super accurate to the real-life truck, you know. No flaws or anything on it. Again, it's the same thing. It's the same body as they show for the Black Captain's Curse, you know. So there's nothing to say except, you know, they changed the color scheme to red, you know. And as well as the chassis is now black, now red, as well as the rims are now black as well, too, you know. Um, again, no changes to Captain's Curse, you know, on this one compared to, you know, real life. You know, real life red Captain's Curse, which I'll show you right now um, in image what Captain's Curse was uh, in real life to this one. I think they did a great job on it, you know. And again, you know, there's nothing too much to say about Red Captain's Curse instead of saying great job against Milestone, you know, for what they did, you know. I just, again, another issue again, we got the Red Hood, which was smaller again for, for this Captain's Curse, but, you know, again, nothing, nothing to say about it, you know, so, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, not to say about this Red Cops Curse, but the, 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 again, it looks super accurate to the black one, except it just changed the color scheme and the chassis, you know, that's all it is, so, um, yeah. But again, they did a great, great, great job, great, 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 great job from them, and cannot wait to um, see what other um, trucks they have in store for us, which they already shown what next the next few DLCs are going to be, if you saw on Instagram and all of that, so, um, yeah. But now that um, we saw the red Captain's Curse, it's time to look at another one, which is, if I'm not mistaken, it's called the Chrome, if I'm not mistaken, or Silver Captain's Curse. So, without further ado, guys, let's do it. So here is the, if I'm not, if I'm correct, the Silver Captain's Curse, guys. Um, now, um, Silver Captain's Curse. Uh, this is not made by Milestone, but I don't see the logo uh, from Milestone. But if there was a Milestone, it would have it would have been made by them, you know. But it's not. What this means, this is made by Monster Jam. You know, this Monster Jam gave them this truck to them. Now, as we all know, guys, this truck never became real life, but it did became real life as a toy. You know, as if, if you guys remember uh, when Hot Wheels used to be part of Monster Jam. They did make this truck. Now I don't know if I have it in my collection as of right now, uh, but I what I could try is I could find a good image of what the toy looked like to this one, which uh, I may hopefully you guys are seeing it right now as of we are. I guess you're watching the the toy the toy one and to the game one. They did create a Hot Wheels Captain's Curse Silver, I think that's what it was called, not Chrome, I think it was called Silver, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe someone could tell me um, in, in the comments down below if I'm correct or not. But they did make a toy for Captain's Curse, which, again, which was this, basically. So, and it's kind of awesome that we finally see this one become um, in a video game, you know. So, um, yeah. Again, first impressions, again, it looks great. You know, it does it like I, I. There were some people that were very kind of upset, like it, it was not Chrome, like we've seen from Soul's Fortune, Black Ops, Grave Digger, Earth Shaker, El Toro Loco. You know, I understand, but again, they want this to like the real life truck and well, not real life, but you know, the toy basically. And honestly, they did a great job. You know, they did a great job on it. I think all of you could agree on it. They did a phenomenal job on the on the Captain's Curse Silver. You know. It looks very, very accurate to the toy. It looks very, 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 very accurate to the toy, guys. And I'm pretty sure all of you could agree with that. Only difference, of course, is, is that the body is silver. You know, it's not red or black, you know. So, I mean, the logo, it's nothing nothing changed, you know. You know, the flag hasn't changed, you know. The chassis is still the same as to the red Captain's Curse, you know. So, um, yeah. Nothing to change about it, you know. Nothing to change about it. So, yeah. 
But once again, uh, kudos to Spawn Milestone and also Mosh Jam to bring this truck uh, to the game and not real, sadly not real life, you know, which we all wish it could have happened, you know. So, um, yeah. But now that we got this, now that we got all three trucks done as well as their variants, we have one more truck left which came out um, last week from as far from this recording, uh, which I'm recording on Monday. This one gets uploaded on Saturday. But you know this the the truck came out um, last week yeah last week so um, yeah so the next one that we'll be take, taking on looking at is JCB Diggertron so without further ado guys let's do it so here it is guys the JCB Diggertron making his debut in a video game for the first time ever and I got to admit they knocked it out of park. For this truck, guys, they knocked it out of the park, guys. Um, so um, yeah, what we're we gonna do very quickly, you know, we're gonna check if this truck uh, looks accurate to real life, you know, and all that. So um, yeah, so let's go and do it. So, uh, from the looks of it, um, and they did a very good accurate to the real life truck. I will show you an image of what JBC JCB the truck look like uh, in real life to the game and i from me it kind of looks very accurate to a real life truck i don't know there might be some things that are a little bit different you know maybe from my eye vision from looking at it one thing for sure is that the hood i don't know if it, if it was that short i don't have a good memory if the hood of J, jcb truck was that short as far as i know or or it's too long i don't know about that I uh, the, the front looks kind of looks accurate to the real life truck when you look at the back uh, I think it looks accurate. I think from as far as I know it looks very accurate to uh, The real life truck. I don't I have a, at least I don't have a good memory of what their size is and all to look like When you when you look at it, but um, hopefully the image I did show you guys maybe helps helps you with it but um, yeah we also got the scoop. We also got the. Um, I think that's a scoop. I think no, the scoop is in the front. What do you call that? Listen, I don't have a good memory of construction stuff and all that, guys. So it's not my fault, okay? I don't. I never gone to do construction and all that. So um, yeah. Um, and we also got you know we also got the JTB as we all know the one that is now partnered with Monster Jam. They do give us their equipment to help us get to do the tracks, help the trucks to get when they're flipped over, take them back to the pits and all that. So um, yeah, and. Right now, also we got the logo Diggertron right there on the side as well too. Uh, if you look at the front, we do have the glowing red eyes, you know, from JCB Diggertron, you know. So um, yeah, and I think the back also has lights as well too. Yeah, it also has lights as well too. As you can see, it has lights too in the back as well too for JCB Diggertron. Uh, if I'm correct, I think that is engine exhaust. I think. For, but I'm pretty sure in real life it has the exhaust engines on the sides if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I never seen a JCB machine. Well, actually, no, I did see one up close and personal, but I never, I don't remember if they have that that on the truck. So, um, again, uh, JCB Diggertron, a phenomenal job on it. I don't remember where they scanned this one. I'm maybe they scanned it when they were they, this was in uh, main production probably. They were like building and all that. Maybe and when they were done, they probably were there and they scanned it. Probably, probably that's what happened. Maybe I don't know. I, I don't know at all. So um, yeah. But again, they they did a phenomenal job on JCB Dirtron. Everything looks super accurate to the real life truck. So great job from Milestone from them for doing this. A great, great job on CBC Dirtron. And now that we saw this JCB Dirtron, we do have one more, which is the variant, and that is JCB Dirtron Ice. So without further ado, guys. Let's do it. And here it is, guys. The JCB Diggertron Ice. And first impression, guys, I got to admit, this might be this might be in my top five favorite ice and fire truck bodies. I have to say it. The body looks fantastic, guys. I mean fantastic. I mean fantastic guys look at the body the, the you see the dark to the light you know you also see snows on it the crystals on it they really really did a phenomenal job on this jcb Diggertron ice they really really did 
and it looks phenomenal it looks phenomenal and crazy awesome you know um and if you look everywhere on the truck it looks fantastic guys really 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 fantastic you know the only fatigue that i wish they could have done is they could have changed the color of the logo of diggertron because if you look at this one it has orange but when you look at the one on top it has if i'm correct that is white on the logo of diggertron and also jcpd has black as well too so I think that's the one thing they kind of missed out to make this truck completely perfect. But again, it looks fantastic, this JCB Diggertron. Kudos to Milestone, you know, to make this one, as well as Mosh Jam, because I'm pretty sure Mosh Jam was also part of this as well, you know. Because they they were probably also, maybe they did show them, you know, what it, what they have on paper and all that. They said, oh, and they told Master can you do it? And they said, oh, David, we'll go do it. So, and here it is. Voila, here's the JCB Diggertron Ice. Now, uh, will we see this truck become real life? You know, there might be a day we might see this truck become real life. There might be a day that we might see this truck become real life. And if they do, oh my god, I could have imagined how amazing it will look this body will be when you look at it if it was real life but um yeah so um yeah uh, uh, hold on, hold on. all right yeah sorry about that my mom called me out of nowhere you know for something so i had to do that real quick so um yeah but um again um uh, i don't know i remember where i left off i think i left off you know talking about jcb diggertron ice so um again um j they did again they did a great job on jcb diggertron ice Again, kudos again, kudos to Milestone, kudos to Monster Jam. Great job to them to make this truck. And hopefully maybe one day we do see this truck become real life, you know, but I'm pretty sure there will be a big line to see this truck. So um yeah, hopefully one day we do see this truck become real life. So fingers crossed for that in the future. So um yeah. But um again, yeah. Now that we have um looked at all the trucks, all four of the trucks and all the variants. It's time to play a little bit. I'll try to play a little bit with all four of the trucks. We're not going to do all of them. You know, We're not going to do all, all the variants and all of that. You know, We're not doing that. But we are going to just play with all four of the trucks. I will try to, I'll pick the ones for my favorite from each of them. So, um, yeah. So, we're going to try to do maybe play some freestyles with them. Racing, maybe with some of them. So, um, yeah. There's four of them. So, we can do like two freestyles, two racing. So, um, yeah. It won't be that long. So, um, yeah. So, uh, without further ado, guys. Um, let's, let's go. Let's go and try to play a little bit of these trucks. So, um, yeah, let's do it. Alrighty, guys. Now that we got everything ready to go, we're right now going to go and try to do some little competition with all four of the trucks. So, basically, what we're going to do is that we're going to do two freestyles, two racings. That's all we're going to do, you know, in these next, uh, I don't know how many how long we're going to record and all of that. But, uh, hopefully this video is not over 30 minutes. That's the one thing I'm kind of worried about. You know, but it's me talking about all those trucks. Hopefully they go over 30 minutes. Hopefully, but if it did, then, well, what am I going to do, you know? So, um, yeah, but uh, the first trial we will be playing first, and we will do freestyle in the Almo, uh, Armadillo. We're going to go try to play a little freestyle game with Soul Forge and Black Ops Fire, and I think this is the uh, Death Valley. So, um, yeah, so without further ado, guys, let's do it. Alrighty, let's do this. This is going to be fun. This is really going to be fun, so let's do it, guys. Alright, let's go dig in. There we go, there we go. Good sky wheelie. Good sky wheelie! Let's go for another big air. Yeah. Nice air, nice air, all of that. Ooh, don't want to crash. It just keeps getting better. Let's go for another big backflip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's see if I go for a wheelie right here. There we go, there's the wheelie. wheelie. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, 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 oh, oh, well, there goes the body, there goes the body, oh, what? You wouldn't want to get in the way of that truck, <laughs> wait, why did that happen, <laughs> why did that, that's, that's supposed to happen, they need to, like, they, they, okay, well then, they have to fix, they have to fix, they have to, and, they have to fix the physics for the crutch cars because that's not supposed to happen in real life. That doesn't happen in real life. Unstoppable. 
so they have to fix that. That's the one they have to kind of fix, basically. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm running out of time. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Right. I, I need... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, no, no. I, want, I need a backflip right here. Full speed. Full speed. Oh, spectacular big air. oh please, please land. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, I left. <laughs> well, well, we got sixth place. Well, what am I gonna do? <laughs> that was fun, you know. That was fun. Yeah, it was very not bad, you know. I didn't do well. Honestly, but if I would have landed that truck, I probably would have gotten first place, but I didn't. So, um, yeah, but you know, hey, I had a great time social with Black Ops. It was fun, you know. It, it really looked cool, the, the fire in, in the game. It looked really cool with freestyle. So, um, yeah. Alright guys, the next one we'll be, we'll be doing, we'll do racing now, and this time we're going to be using the, the, uh, Gears, uh, Black Pearl, so, um, yeah, so without further ado, let's do it, let's see how we do. Alright guys, so the first truck that we'll be taking on is the, uh, El Toro Loco in here, so let's do it. Alrighty, go here, oh, careful, 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 oh, yeah, that's, that's, that one we have to be careful with. Now, full speed. Ooh, oh, oh, no, no. Okay, okay, well, I... Alright, we still won. <laughs> we still won, even though we, we, we screwed up right there at that moment. But uh, we still won, guys. <laughs> Alright, next truck is Max D. So, let's see how we do this race. Uh, hopefully, this is better than the last one. Because that's, that's what I did. I did not go well. Alright, there we go. There we go. Oh, oh well, well, a little cool. We're facing the finals. How funny! <laughs> what are the odds we face against Soldier Fortune when we just used For Soldier Fortune Blackouts not long ago? <laughs> okay, here we go. Final turn. Oh, that's a perfect turn right there. That was a perfect one right there. That was perfect, perfect. And there we go, guys. We got the win. The second to final truck that we'll be using is the Captain's Curse. We're going to use the Silver Captain's Curse, and we're going to do Freestyle. Then later, we're going to use JCB Diggertrons, and we're going to do Racing with him. And then that'll be it for today's video. So, um, yeah. So right now, we're going to go to Captain's Curse, do Freestyle, and then JCB. So without further ado, let's do the Freestyle for Captain's Curse. So let's do it and let's see how well we do a cap skirt, shall we? Let's see. Perfect execution of a sky wheelie. Oh, look at that wheelie, look at that wheelie guys. Cap skirts, if I remember, was well, famous to doing wheelies. If you remember Alex Blackwell, as we remember, will always do a great job with wheelies with uh, Captain's Curse. So uh, yeah. Going over the crunch cars, bicycling. In Oh, careful, careful. Don't want to hit the wall containers. Makes a perfect donut. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 yeah, there we go. The body's destroyed, but who cares? <laughs> I'm gonna try to do a nerve wheelie. I'm gonna see if I can like go all, all the way to the other the other side. Let's see. The last ten there seconds. There we go. Come on, there we go. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Doubles up and lands a consecutive front flip. That's what? insane. What did I just do right there? I, I, I what the hell? I don't know what I did, but I, 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 I just made. Oh, that was a fun freestyle. That was better than the last one I did with uh, Soldier Fortune. I don't know how I did a front flip. I said to myself, I'm gonna go for a wheelie and go all the way to the other side, and I did. And um, uh, yeah, I did, I did a wow factor right there. Holy crap! <laughs> I did a wow factor right there, guys. Okay, well then, move on from that one. So now we are in the 
final truck and the final competition and then we'll end the video right here guys and the last one will be of course again will be jcb Degatron ice and we'll be doing the racing competition and it will be a little bit tricky one why not try a challenging one you know with jcb Degatron? so um yeah let's do it uh, as of right now we are taking on uh son of a digger so let's see how we do with jcb Degatron. so let's do it all right, all right, there we go. All right, turn, turn. Final turn right here. And there we go, got the win. It's not that difficult of a track. It really isn't, you know. Uh, when you first play it, it will be difficult, but over time, it's get, it gets easier and easier and easier to the point where you're like, yeah, you you, 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 you should not lose in this race. So competition, basically, so um, yeah. All right, our next one will be against Zombie, so um yeah but this time i'm not gonna try to use my boost this time i'm actually gonna try to see if i could do it without the boost let's see how well i do it out the boost so oh no yeah that, that did not go well <laughs> oh my god i i i love <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what I, I don't know what happened to me right there. I don't know what happened to me. I don't know what happened. I, I, I don't know what happened. I was trying to. I don't know why. I guess I, I guess I, well, I guess I was going too much in the corners. Let me see if I could do better this time. I could do better. I could do better. I could do better. All right, all right, all right, all right. So final turn. And there we go. Got the win. Got the win, got the win, got the win. So, um, got the win. That was much better than the last one. I did do much better in the corners. I didn't do well the last time, but this time we did. So, um, yeah. Oh, how convenient. Max D. Alright, let's, right, let's end this race, shall we? Alright, final turn. Right here. Turn around. And for speed. And there we go guys, we got the win and we won racing with JCB Digitron. So there you go guys, that is it for today's video. That's all we're doing today basically, looking at the trucks, how they're how they're accurate to the real life, you know, and all that, you know, and also try to play a little bit of it, you know guys. So um, yeah, um, the next video is probably going to be another uh, toy review video. I have so many trucks I bought. From the past two weeks that i need to do some reviews of them so um yeah um the next um showdown video it could be maybe um two weeks by now we could do another showdown video and maybe we could do online maybe I'm doing multiplayer because i never i haven't done that yet i have not done multiplayer yet um as of right now and I feel like I should try to do that in the next video because I really want to see how well I do against, you know, multiplayer people, you know. Very, very curious if I do, if I could do well or not. So, um, uh, yeah, that's the one thing I think we should try to do in the next video. So, um, yeah. But, um, again, next video after this will probably be, again, uh, probably a toy review video. So, um, yeah. But, again, guys, um, again... Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I really, really hope you did guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you are new to the channel. There will be more videos like this uh, for the next few weeks. And also probably it's all the way to, you know, they released the final update for the showdown video. Uh, there will be other video games I will also be trying to play as well too, you know. Especially if I, want, if I hit 500 subscribers, which I'm very close to it. So hopefully you guys help me help me to get there, guys. Really hope you guys do help me to get there. That will be very awesome. So, um, yeah. But um, again, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching again. Uh, um, hit the like button, subscribe. Also, comment if you guys there's anything, if there's anything else you guys want to ask and anything. So, um, yeah. But again, guys... Um, Thank you so much for watching this video, and as always, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.